Alrighty here. So I gotta put the sharpening notch back in. Or put it in. Period. Mm. You know what? The 16th is too much. Let me take that shit out. Ah! Ah! Wing wing. So. There we go. Zip zip. I guess we should put some light on the subject, huh? Hard by beats all steel. So. See how that looks. Oop. Don't set the camera on the hook. A little bit more. I think that one. There we go. Boom, sharpening notch. See where I went over, so I'm just gonna enlarge it. It'll look just as good. The knife will work just the same. If I tried to hide it, maybe you could say I'm being dishonest, yes, but that's why I make these videos. To try to correct mistakes. Knife making. Ikum Naz once said something and I'm paraphrasing. Knife making is just making mistakes and learning how to fix them. Those weren't his exact words, but it was close to that. And it's true. It's what you do. You make mistakes. And you learn how to fix those mistakes. That shit all off. Alright, zip zip. That oh, woman is shot. It sure is, isn't it? Mm, mm, mm. Sorry guys and girls if there are any. <laughs> Gotta remember this knife is sharp, so we'll cut you some quick. Cut you with the quickness. Alrighty, there we go. Ooh, done to fuck that one up, huh? Oh, cut me too. <laughs>
Just a little bit more. I'm still gonna have to bring that bevel out to here. But mm mm mm. All right, so I think I'm just gonna bring it back to here, clean it up, make it even. And I'll see if I want to re that, re wash it more, re acid wash it. Light pressure, really light. You got to get in there and get this even. You don't want to put pressure back. You want to put it up and you want to hang it like this. Just barely kissing it. And then bring it down a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but this part of the blade is not hitting the belt. Slowly but surely, belt's on a low speed. It's getting there. You can see right here, it's faster. So we're gonna have to bring this all blended in. See it's coming down more and more right there. Don't forget to dip the blade, we don't want it overheating. But that's why I use my bare hands so I can feel. Maybe slowly blend it in. It's getting there. What I like to do for every little bit I hit here, then I bring it back and blend it out. It's getting there. We're almost there. Look at that. We want to keep that in the middle so if it takes us a little bit off. Uh, I don't like doing it, but. Alright, here we go. Let's start. Uh, We need a new belt. It's getting hot too quick. Some people say they use these belts, aluminum oxides, for five or six knives. I don't see how it's possible. It's too hot for me. It's crazy. One guy's like, oh, I just buy aluminum oxides. I do five or six knives at a time with it. 
Woo! Let's see how. More power to you, bud. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do. That's probably what I should have done in the first place. I'm going to have to take some sandpaper and sand it out, but... Now let's see if I can get that little bit out with the belt. New belt. That's what it was. Just needed a new belt. Alrighty. We are ready to throw back in the stone wash. And of course, what you do on that side, you gotta do on this side. about half and half this is just a regular piece of wire out of you know copper inlay plastic this is acetone clean the knife off real good if this was the first time doing it this knife would be a lot cleaner but since it's already been dipped and fair chloride eats away this is good enough for now Trying to save my logo and stuff, so we'll just see how this does. I usually dip it in, pull it out to see if there's any spots that it's missed. Dip it a few times. Yeah. 
and the trick and you pull it out grab some steel wool make sure it's even hit it with the steel wool there we go I think ferric chloride is just basically muriatic acid with steel wool and hydrogen peroxide something like that I've seen guys mix it themselves but I ain't no chemist I can do electric I can do computers I can do knives and I can do a little bit metal but I can't do no chemicals so It's pretty even. Now I'm going to leave it in there for about 10 more minutes. Take it out. Throw it in my tumbler. Alright. It's been about 10 minutes. I let the fair chloride drip off. Then I use Windex. Spray it off with Windex. The ammonia will deactivate the fair chloride. Gets it all dark. Wham. So now what I've learned is, when you do your tumbler, take some kind of glass cleaner or Windex or whatever, get the rocks real wet. The rotten Design told me the wetter the better. The rotten Design's got some awesome knives. If you don't know who Rotten Design is, look them up on Instagram. Awesome knives. Stones are real wet, and then I'll take some WD-40. Spray the WD-40 down. Coat it. Turn on the tumbler. There she goes. I'm sure you don't want to watch this, so I'll just bring it back. When I pull it out. Alright. It's been about 5-10 minutes. Gotta remember that blade's sharp. So here we go. Let's see what we got here. Now it's got cake. See that? It's caked on WD-40. A little bit more Windex. Takes it right off. I don't know. Maybe I'll have it beat up just a little bit more. All right, back in. Sharp knife in there, do not grab. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. Yeah. There we go. And I have done everything with this stone washer. I've tried everything. And that's finally it. You just have to soak them down and then cover it with WD-40. If you get them all wet, you don't put the WD-40 in. You can barely see the stone wash. And if you don't get the stones wet, then only one side gets done. <laughs> Man, all kinds of problems. So, yeah. Really wet stones and WD-40 seems to be the mix, at least for this one. Alrighty. Oh, a little bit there. I missed. Like how I just stirred the paper towel on the ground. <laughs> Alrighty, that's it. Now let me just sharpen these back up. Should be that. Just actually just hit it on the 3000 and we should be good to go. 
All right.